Whoa, baby. A few more? Not bad. Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You've just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. We're placing key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. You probably crossed paths at MI6. Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. The safe house? I've done time here before, years back. This go round? Just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. Don't be a stranger. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Old. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's crank time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, our little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it.
Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yup. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk to! Light him up! There! In the bell tower! Fuck yeah! Focus fire on the courtyard! Nice shooting, Bell! God damn it! More RPGs on the rooftops! Hold on! Swinging around! Let's do this. Are you sure about this, Adler? Streets ain't exactly empty. Your priority is securing any intel.
like looking for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. What you doing? Go back to the bird. Badger Niner One, this is Ripcord. We are still under heavy fire. BC are breaching the perimeter. What is your status? We're inbound now, Ripcord. Get that asset ready for transfer. Roger that, Niner One. We'll keep the assets safe as long as we can. Ripcord out. Badger Niner One, in the air! BC are all over the mountains. No sieves here. All targets are valid. Tear them up, Bell! Target the huts! Hell yeah! Badger 9 and 1, we have confirmed the visual on an enemy bird headed your way. Since when did the cog have birds? They don't! Fucking Soviets! Take down that hide! That's it! Stay on him! I think you got him! Yeah, you got him! Good job, Bell! They sent that hide after us, they're pissed we got the intel! Ripcord base, 20 seconds out! Ripcord, this is Badger 9 or 1, we're on final approach! Roger that, Niner One. The base is still hot, so watch yourselves. We'll do what we can to clear an LZ. Get the asset ready for transfer. Roger that, Ripcord. Watch the caves! Bastards are dug in! Multiple ground targets! Pick them off, Bell! VC convoy on the road! Take out those supply trucks! Every one of them rearms the enemy! This is Ripcord. You need to push back the VC reinforcements before we're overrun. Be advised, we have multiple birds in the air. Watch your fire. Enemies dug in all around the hillside. We don't have a hope in hell of landing if we don't take out those positions. Light them up. Badger Niner One, our scouts have identified a significant enemy force approaching from the south. Divert to intercept. Roger that, Ripcord. Take out those AA trucks! Keep it up! Badger Niner One, they're breaching the main gate. We can't hold out much longer. Hold on, Ripcord, we're on our way. Hit that armor! Stay on that convoy! Nice work! Badger Niner One, you are clear to land. Copy that, Ripcord. Badger Niner One setting down. The base is still hot, so watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already? Not yet.
Somehow, Percy is new. Sims! Bell, you okay? We're okay! Fuck! Bell, let loose with that goddamn turret before we're overrun! Support! Bell, call it in! Grab a weapon! Keep them the fuck off us! Still with us? You think we can call this a success, Sims? <laughs> At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anne's dealer, working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. Here we go. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted. Agent Park. That'll work. <laughs> that until you found in Da Nang was treasure trove. 
Well, you tell me. After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a personal tour. My pleasure. Nice work producing that name, Bell. We archive everything. CIA's like my ex-wife. Won't throw a damn thing away. Yeah. The trick is knowing yeah, what's here. buried in that pile and getting the thing you need when you need it. Doc, I think you want this one. <clears throat> you bound some checks again? Collections? We'll talk on the drive, Bell. I'll take you back here. You have hold that thought. Adam. Well, that's one perspective. I thought it went pretty damn well. What? You think everything's you think about you now? Here to entertain me. You being funny? Did we not just go through this? Look, I could say so many things right now, no. Forget about it. It's good. Only when they tell me not to. This assignment, I'm mostly gonna run the shop. Whatever you guys need, I'll make sure you have it. You see, I got a list of connections longer than the Great Wall. Adler needs it, I can procure it. No exceptions. Sure, I could get that. No problem. Easy. I can have that in-house by next week. Uh, clever. But I wasn't joking earlier. That's a hell of a request, but give me enough time and I can have one parked outside. Okay. Now how you gonna pay for that? <laughs> Last I heard, Adler cuts the checks around here. Unless you got a suitcase full of cash, I'm gonna consider your request null and void. Shit. <laughs> I tried to track that motherfucker years ago when he went to Italy for a douchebag conference. He's slick. If you see him, tell him Lawrence Sim says hello. <sighs> you think one person from the crown would be enough, but I guess someone really wanted this outfit to be international, didn't they? Come again. Kid. Did I ever see his face? No. That photo on the board is all we have, and it's more than 20 years old. Handsome man. I hope the years weren't kind to him. Bell, you're a spy, but let's keep it outside the building, not inside. Understand? We'll leave within the hour. <laughs> 